you know, you go through this process, you, you, you know, you paid us a fee, you're working with us on an ongoing basis, which, you know, and paying ongoing fees that, that uh, are attached to that. In your mind, what makes those fees worth paying? Actually, I really pushed Marcus on this. I was a bit of a dick about it um, because I, I really like I was bought into the idea, but I really wanted to understand how much value I was going to get out of it. I mean, that's my day to day job is proving out the value of our solutions um, and proving out the value of like a committed approach. So I went in with like an 80 percent certainty that I was going to move with the monthly fees but a 20 percent wanting Marcus to like really come to the table and be like, this is why. For me, what it was is just that being time for. It's, I wouldn't have done it otherwise. It would have been a plan you guys gave me that I would have spent, you know, four months sitting on my desk, would have then had like a push and be like, okay, I've got to do something about it. Like, but it would have taken me probably 12 months to put into action. And there's been moments with the plan where I just like not understood it and be like, Marcus, I need to get me on a call right now because like, I don't know what I'm doing here or there. Like, this doesn't make any sense to me. So it's, it's really being able to outsource the stress to someone else so that I can focus on moving the goal and like getting towards the goal rather than like, yeah, the admin side of it. Like it's just outsourcing yeah. the admin, but it's also getting that ongoing advice. Like the thing I said, the changing jobs or I changed the way in which I wanted to do something or there was a structure or something that I was like, actually that doesn't feel right anymore. And it being flexible to change. I wasn't stuck with this just like report that, which is a piece of paper. It's a living and breathing structure now around what I want to accomplish. Yeah, and I think that the that ongoing, um, uh, you know, continuity of the plan on an ongoing basis is not to be underestimated as well. Because it's great to have a great plan, but we know that life doesn't follow a um, follow the, this nice straight line in a spreadsheet. That w without that that those ongoing sort of nudges and, and the, the push when we need it, when life sort of does get in the way to say, hold on, actually, no, we do need to, act, to actually give this some attention now so that you can stay on the front foot. Otherwise, you just end up, like you say, that things end up in that sprawl again and then they're, they're in the too hard basket and uh, you've got to go through the whole process again to, to bring yourself back on top of things. So, uh, you know, that you know, you see the decisions initially in the plan and that the money that you make as a result of those decisions. But then you've got this ongoing piece where we're continuing to make those decisions at every, you know, month or every quarter or every year we're going through the process again and, and reshaping so that you can um, continue to pick up on all of those little things and build your, uh, your momentum faster. But Maddie, um, yeah, really appreciate those tips. Appreciate you taking the time. Uh, some great insights there. Thanks very much for joining us. Thanks so much. Have a great day.